Hey Capricorn, I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be a general love reading for the second half of August and it's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. It is general so that means it's not going to resonate for everybody but if you want <clears throat> you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs or you can book a personal reading. Also the roles can be reversed because it is general. Okay, let's see, what is the overall energy for Capricorn? We have free will, okay. <clears throat> so it could be that you're either feeling very free to just do what you want, um, or just feeling, it's just coming in this way, like feeling a sense of liberty to exercise your free will and just do whatever the hell you want, no matter <laughs> what, all right? Or this could be a person that you are connected to. Let's see. <clears throat> All right, so Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mid to the end of August. So we will be looking at you and another person's energy separately. So for you, we have the Six of Cups, Strength, and the Eight of Swords. Okay, all right. So I feel like there's a situation here where maybe you felt trapped. Um, I don't know if you still do. I It's not really coming in that way. I feel like this is something of the past. This is a person that you felt really connected to, a very strong bond with this person. But <clears throat> I feel like for you, you're feeling like, all right, you know what? That is in the past now. This is something that you have been very, very strong um, um, for in order to get yourself to this place of feeling that free will, if that is you. But or even just feel, using a lot of strength and having to go through a lot in order to even find that strength in order to come out of a situation where um, it was pro possibly keeping you back. Um, maybe you felt a little bit obsessed or that you couldn't stop thinking about this person. Now for some of you, of course, there could still be some nostalgia, there could still be some feelings, but I'm seeing that you're just standing very, very strong. And I keep saying, you know, I feel like um, Leo energy just keeps showing up here. So I keep talking about, um, well, not keep talking about, but in a couple of the other readings, I feel I've said about the um, Lionsgate still kind of playing out here, all right, in the after effect, as well as Leo's energy, which is still, still here for the next couple of days. Um, let's see for them. We have Temperance, the Tower, and the Seven of Cups. Oh, all right. Okay, so this person is really trying to find their balance. Um, I don't know what it is that has happened here. I feel like it is mostly you who is um, feeling this liberty, feeling this freedom. Feeling like, no, you know what, I am me and I am going to do what I want and I'm not going to let anybody hold me back. Almost like finding your own sense of control. Not allowing a situation or someone else's energy here to control how you feel and how stuck you feel. This person, <clears throat> going back to that, <laughs> is trying to find a balance because of whatever this is that, that has happened here that has led you to be in that space. They're trying to find their balance, but they're, they're having a really hard time. They're having a dark night of the soul. They're feeling like things are just um, chaotic at the moment. Things are just falling apart. And they're really confused not knowing what to do. Um, let's see. <clears throat> the message for you here is the Nine of Wands. Seven of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. All right, so there is a shift that is happening here. There's a big major shift and it could be for the both of you. I do feel like this has been a very long and a difficult road where there may have been some, some back and forth. There may have been some deceit possibly, um, just some dishonesty. 
for some of you, it could be from this person. For others of you, it could be, you know, just even within your own self. Like, it's coming in like possibly deceiving your own integrity by allowing yourself to be controlled by a situation for as long as, as you did. But know that that is not really the case, all right? We go through experiences for a reason. And as long as we come out of them stronger and with more self-awareness, you know, then we have soul growth. And that is the whole point. So there is a major shift that is happening here. All right, so let's see. Let's clarify. Let's see that Six of Cups. All right, we have the Hermit and we have the Eight of Wands. All right, yeah, so this, I feel, is... Um, this situation in the past, it kind of made you um, go inwards and kind of keep to your own self. It made you, like, close up, possibly, and become a little bit more introverted. And that's okay. I feel like you are ready to really come out of that now, all right, with the Eight of Wands. Like, you're just really ready to just take this new direction, move forward, do things, make decisions. It's, it's a lot of positive energy here coming out of that hermit. Let's see the strength. The Queen of Wands, yeah, and the world. You're that's it. I mean, I feel like you have, you know, it's it's like you've completed a lesson. It's like you've completed a cycle. It's like you have successfully made an achievement, an accomplishment, and because of that, you are just so confident right now that you're you're feeling like you can just conquer the world after everything that you have been through here with this person or with this situation. Let's see that eight of swords. You know, I mean, I just know you're out of that Eight of Swords or you're just really coming out of it, all right, um, for the last part of this month or the last half of this month. I just really want to see what this is about. Or the Six of Pentacles. You are giving a lot of your energy and time to this connection. So it's pretty much what I said, just feeling stuck to this giving to this, possibly even putting in effort, possibly even making offers to this person for some of you, all right? That's not going to be for all of you, but for some of you, it could even be that, you know, you are making it clear that your offer is on the table. Um, for others of you, it was just you investing a lot of time and energy in this, even if you were not together, regardless of whether you were together or not. It, it was just occupying a lot of your headspace, at the very least. And for some of you, it was that you were giving and, you know, you just didn't, you didn't receive. You didn't receive back what it was that you were giving. All right, let's see for this person here. Let's clarify temperance. All right, we have the Nine of Pentacles and we have the Moon. All right, this person is... Um, feeling a little shaky when it comes to their own sense of self-worth at the moment. It could be because of whatever it is that has happened within this connection. Um, but with the moon being here, there's a lot of, there's also a sense of trying to find that balance within themselves because they have a fear of, of being apart from you. For some of them, you know, maybe it's a new thing for them to be single if you have recently um, ended this. For others, it could be that maybe, you know, this has been ended for a long time, but, but you know, because you were still energetically there, you know, you were given, whereas, because as I said, you know, it's like you were giving to this, whereas now this person is really seeing you as being independent, you being um, on your own detached basically and this is creating a lot of doubts for them some fear and this is what um i feel they're trying to balance here let's see the um or their balance has just been thrown off because of this and they're going through a bit of a dark time i would say actually 
a lot of a dark time. Let's see the tower. I'm also getting that this person, you know, has a lot of questions about what is going on with you. They feel like it's a mystery. They don't really know what is going on with you. Alright, so for the tower we have the Knight of Cups and we have the Nine of Swords. So there's a lot of stress when it comes to how this person is either now realizing how they feel or they knew how they felt, but maybe they hadn't expressed it. And I feel like at the moment this person is just really feeling that pain and that um, anxiety of, wow, like, is this really over? Like, is this really done? And I didn't get a chance to say what I want. And I almost feel like this person wants to express themselves emotionally to you. Um, but I don't know, I don't know if they are, I don't know if they are because this tower and this nine of swords, it's pretty, um, it's pretty heavy. So for some of you, maybe they are, for others of you, maybe they're not, you would know. Either way, it's a lot of heavy energy for this person. For others of them, it's, it's this regret of not having given you this offer of love, um, before, of waiting too long in order to do that. And because they waited too long, you know, now the tower. It's like they waited long enough that you are now independent of this and you are detached. Let's see the Seven of Cups. All right, we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. All right, there's a lot of, like I said, a lot of confusion here. They don't know what to do. I feel like they're kind of living like on um, in their own little world. Like um, for the people that can see them, for the people that are in their life, I feel like they're, they're observing this person or perceiving this person as being like, in the clouds, but not in the happy clouds. Um, just kind of having lost touch with reality. Having lost touch with reality, not really doing anything. Um, and this is because they're coming off as, as depressed as well, which they are. And it's like they're just kind of waiting. They're waiting to see if something will happen. Um, I don't really see them taking action just yet. I feel like they're just really experiencing this tower at a very intense level. And so their emotions are also all over the place. They're confused. Um, possibly even with their own selves. Kind of like when I say confused, they're not confused when it comes to how they feel. I think it's pretty clear how they feel. Um, they're confused in terms of how did this happen? Why did this happen? Like, is this really happening? what am I doing? It's that kind of a confusion and really feeling alone in this. So it's, you know, it's, it's kind of sad. All right. So let's, uh, let's see the message here. I mean, I feel like you've just been, you know, through a very difficult process here. Um, with that nine of wands, let me clarify the seven of swords. <clears throat> We have the sun. Like I said, Leo just keeps <laughs> showing up all the time. Um, also have Pisces showing up here and Sagittarius, all right? There's a movement. This is part of the change. There's a movement from holding yourself back and from deception. And it could even be this person. There's a movement from that moving towards truth. So I feel like whatever it is that was a lie, there's a movement towards truth here. All right. And this is coming because you are being so persistent and you, you haven't given up on yourself. You haven't given up on yourself. And this is just really moving things forward towards truth and away from deception. Okay. So whatever this person ends up doing, I mean, it's not showing up in this particular reading. Let's see the Wheel of Fortune. What is this shift? We have the Queen of Swords. Clarity, again, truth. You standing firm, you, you knowing exactly what you want and you not accepting anything 
other than what you deserve. You exercising that free will, you know, nobody has a hold on you. No, you know, no matter what this person did, that can, is not going to hold you back forever. Basically, that's pretty much it. All right. So, Capricorn, let's get the final oracle message for you. And we have the full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. Yeah, because I feel like this has been very difficult for you, whatever this situation was. And it's like, and I feel like you all, you are already looking at the bigger picture and that is what has helped you to move through this. Um, just take this as a reminder to keep looking at the bigger picture so that it doesn't take you a step back from this clarity that you now have. And I feel like, you know, this could also be for your person. Um, possibly now, now that this shift is happening from you and things are different, nothing is a given anymore, this person can now eventually see the bigger picture once they come out of this disillusionment of the current um, state that they're in. All right, Capricorn, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.